We have all heard of ecstasy, X, molly, or in medical terms, MDMA. It's often praised for the warm, fuzzy feeling it can create, filled with love, empathy, and distortion of time and perception. This is its pitch, and this might be the reason why you have tried it before, or maybe you have always been tempted to do so. And that is where this video comes in. We will cover the origin of MDMA, its effect, potential long-term effects, and the signs of an overdose. Because you need to know this, you need to be able to recognize a medical emergency, and you need this information in order to know what you get yourself into, so you can make an educated decision for yourself. So lean back and let's get learning. Which brings us to the origin of MDMA. First of all, it's developed by a German pharmaceutical company in 1912, so it already exists quite a long time. It's a compound which can be used to synthesize blood clotting medication. Although soon people started experimenting with it and found out its stimulant and psychedelic properties. And by the 80s and 90s, MDMA gets widely available on the street and is often used as a party drug. Since then, the popularity of MDMA has skyrocketed. A recent study found that about 20% of all Americans had used MDMA the previous year. And about 1% of all Americans aged 19 to 28 have used it last month. MDMA as a drug can be used as a tablet, capsule or powder and therefore it can be swallowed, crushed and snorted or it can be smoked. Depending on how you take it, the purity of drugs you're using, your tolerance and how much you're taking, you may experience its effect within 45 minutes and it usually wears off within 3 to 6 hours. MDMA works by releasing more of the neurotransmitters serotonin, dopamine and noradrenaline and it also blocks their reabsorption. Together, this increases the concentration of those neurotransmitters in several pathways of your brain. This mechanism causes the short-term effects which you might associate with MDMA. An enhanced sense of pleasure, euphoria, more self-confidence, increased energy, feelings of peacefulness, acceptance and empathy. Unfortunately, the usage of MDMA can also cause some negative effects like cleansing of your jaw, grinding of your teeth, restlessness, insomnia, irritability, anxiety, sweating, thirst, nausea, impulsiveness, an increased heart rate, rising body temperature and a high blood pressure. Here, it is important to mention that there is only a low risk for a potential overdose. However, repeated use in a short time frame can increase this risk. In addition, MDMA is prone to being caught with other illicit and potentially deadly chemicals. This further increases your risk of serious medical problems or an overdose. The same is true for those willfully combining MDMA usage with marijuana, alcohol or other drugs. This can increase the effects of all these drugs combined and of course this can be very dangerous. Now pay attention, common symptoms of an overdose are excessive thirst, heavy sweating, muscle cramping, shaking chills, little to no urine output, a blurred vision, fainting and seizures. And seek immediate medical attention if you see any of these symptoms as they can lead to severe kidney damage, liver failure, heart failure, seizures and ultimately death. Furthermore, just regular MDMA use can also be dangerous under certain circumstances. Its stimulant effects combined with intense dancing and or a hot club can result in hypothermia, a collapse and severe dehydration. This all sounds very seriously and you might start to wonder now if you're not using too much MDMA or you're using it too frequently, then let me tell you, the best time to quit is today and please reconsider your usage of illicit drugs. Now, for those of you that do worry, it's always a good idea to contact your personal doctor and discuss this with him or her. Here, it is important to mention that about 60% of those of you that quit after moderately having used MDMA will experience withdrawal symptoms. The most common ones are irritability, depression, confusion, aggression, muscle cramps, problems with sleeping, anxiety, memory deficits, loss of attention, nausea, decreased appetite and a decreased libido. Now I hope this video provided you with all the information you need to know about MDMA usage so you can make safe decisions for yourself. If you have any questions let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. For those of you that can't get enough check out the playlist in the description with more videos on illicit drug usage or check out the TikTok, Instagram and what do we have more? Facebook channel at How to Medicate. 
And remember, please click the like and subscribe button. This will help out your channel tremendously. And as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye and thank you.